What is deja vu? Why do we experience deja vu? Have you ever experienced a moment when you feel like you've been in the exact same situation before, even though it's your first time there? Or perhaps you suddenly remember a conversation or event that you're sure has never happened. If so, you've probably experienced what is commonly known as deja vu. In this video, we'll explore what deja vu is and delve into the science behind why we experience it. Understanding deja vu. Deja vu is a French term that translates to already seen. It refers to the eerie feeling of familiarity or recognition that occurs when we encounter a situation or event that we believe we have already experienced in the past. It's important to note that deja vu is a subjective experience and can vary in intensity and duration for different individuals. Types of deja vu. There are two main types of deja vu, the associative deja vu and the biological deja vu. Associative deja vu. This type of deja vu occurs when a situation or event triggers a memory or feeling of familiarity, even though there is no clear recollection of the exact details of the previous experience. It's as if our brain is making a connection between the present moment and a past memory, but the specifics remain elusive. Biological deja vu. On the other hand, biological deja vu is believed to be caused by a brief malfunction in our brain's memory recognition processes. It's like a hiccup in our brain's normal functioning, where a current experience is mistakenly identified as a past one, resulting in a feeling of familiarity. Some non-scientific explanations for this phenomenon include, deja vu can be triggered by events in our life in a parallel universe. Some people believe that this phenomenon is linked to depression. Some people think that the brain feels like it's reliving things it wants to forget, but can't. Others think that this phenomenon allows us to see into the future. More recent research suggests that this phenomenon isn't metaphysical or supernatural. Ja vu isn't connected to reincarnation, as some people believe. Instead, it's caused by a memory anomaly. It used to be thought that this phenomenon was caused by a failure of the sensory organs to communicate with the brain. Everything we do in our day-to-day -day lives is a reflection of these events. The environments we visit in our everyday lives are also inputted into the brain from the short-term memory. The information then migrates from the short-term to the long-term memory. During this transition, information can be misdirected. The pathway problem makes it feel like the information is coming from the long-term memory instead of the short-term memory. And this is what causes this phenomenon. The main cause of this phenomenon is a temporal mismatch that occurs in the memory systems of the brain. To find out why people remembered events they thought they had experienced, but hadn't, neurologists scanned the brains of several volunteers. In a study published in the Journal of Magnetic Resonance Science, researchers found that participants who took part in the experiment had more activity in the part of the brain that remembers the specific and very specific details of an event, while recounting events they remembered with confidence. When describing an uncertain and unrealized event, the top part of the brain, the part that only remembers the main theme of an event, was more active. It's well known that memories in this region of the brain are only general and will deceive the person. That's why people who experience deja vu tend to remember the events in this region. Some scientists believe this research could be very useful in diagnosing Alzheimer's disease as the brain loses the capacity to recall clear events faster than it loses the capacity to remember the general outlines of an event. In a study in 1941, experts showed volunteers some materials and asked them to memorize them. Then, hypnosis was used to weaken the memory link between the materials shown to the volunteers before hypnosis. When asked to recall what they remembered when the experts showed them the materials again, three of 10 volunteers said, I definitely saw these materials before, but I don't remember how or where I saw them before. They described this as a deja vu situation. In a study in 2008, researchers found that the definition of deja vu was related to dementia, based on similarities between memory types. This was confirmed in a study in 2012 using experiments in virtual reality. If the general outline of an object in virtual reality is similar to that of a scene you have seen before, but not remembered clearly, the person perceives that they are having a deja vu experience. Some people also connect it to time travel. According to these people, the reason for this is that humans have accomplished the act of travel in the past and are doing it in the present. While traveling back in time in the tunnel of the past, 
humans are moving from one universe to another and from one dimension to another. It is during these transitions that people experience this phenomenon. Another idea that goes along with this idea is that people who experience this phenomenon are people who have somehow accomplished the act of traveling in the past. Since they see what they saw or experienced while traveling back in time, the environment in which they were during this transition becomes the one in which they experience this phenomenon. According to some researchers, including Dr. Robert Efron, this phenomenon is also due to the microsecond difference in the processing speed of data between the brain's two lobes. When we're presented with information, both left and right brain lobes process it. But the sorting of incoming information takes place in the left brain's temporal lobe. Normally, the brain sorts the incoming information by correcting the time difference between the direct signals coming from the left brain and the signals coming from the right brain. In other words, synchronizing them. When the brain doesn't do this correctly, there's a lack of synchronicity between the signals, which can be the source of the phenomenon. A glitch in the neural pathways in the brain's callosum, the bridge that links the two sides of the brain, causes the data from both sides to overlap at the same time. This causes a difference of 15 microseconds between two signals, which would otherwise be separated by 10 microseconds. The brain compensates for the difference of 10 microseconds, but the difference of 5 microseconds causes the person to feel like they're experiencing the same thing twice. Anyone can experience it, but some people experience it more often than others. It's more common with neurological disorders like personality disorder and schizophrenia, depression, and anxiety disorders. There aren't any studies that directly link these disorders to it, so it's not accurate to say that anxiety and depression are the cause of it. However, there is a connection between it and temporal lobes epilepsy. Studies have shown that people with epilepsy are more likely to experience a phenomenon called an aura, which occurs when consciousness is still normal before a seizure. A large and severe seizure can be triggered by an electrical discharge that is large enough to create an anomaly at a neurological level. Whatever the reason, the scientific explanation for this phenomenon is not based on clairvoyance or any supernatural process. As parapsychologists claim, parapsychology is a pseudoscience. As neuroscientific research advances day by day, more and more of these unexplained biological elements are coming to light. For instance, the effects of some medications on the nerves have been shown to increase the incidence of deja vu. So even the effects of food on the nerves can explain these things. As we are coming to the end of the video, we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you enjoyed the content and the information that we shared with you. If you did, please click the like button below. Your positive feedback is what motivates us to create more informative and engaging content. To make sure you never miss another one of our videos, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. By subscribing to our channel, you become an active member of our community. Your participation inspires us to create more content that matches your interests and preferences. So thank you for being a part of our community. Until our next video, we hope to see you again and share more enriching experiences. Thanks for watching.